Hey everybody, this is Tyler Dockery and I want to welcome you to this class. We have a lot of specific things that I want to talk about in this video, so please do go ahead and watch it all. Sorry, we have a cat up here. Um, please pay attention to the time required for these classes and our due dates. You are generally running two uh lessons every single week so you want to make sure to put your time and effort into those in general um you want to double the number of credit hours for your classes as your classwork and one to one and a half times as much as that on your homework so do those math calculations i'll sum them up at the end but do go ahead and keep that in mind don't wait to get started. When your materials have a due date, the very next day, get in and start working on those next series of projects. If you wait, you will fail. There's not enough weeks in this semester to do that. Um, I would also like to just go ahead real quickly and point out the importance of research. Remember, there is a lot of talent out in the workplace and if you want to get hired your work has to be excellent so uh, look at a c as a, uh, a a good heads up that you need to take some serious movement on finishing your work but just like any big project if you think that you are going to rush in and do a good job you are fooling yourself you want to have your work be at the same level as all other work that is already in the field or higher. No one is going to hire you to do less than the base level of work. So don't let yourself get away with less than the base level of work. What I mean by that specifically is for every project, get on the internet go through magazines go through books go look at what is considered to be the very best work that you can find and pull somewhere between eight and 20 of those to look at don't pull ones that are poorly designed pull the best designs examples that you can find then make sure your work meets that level or exceeds it um, if you find a bunch of poorly designed pieces or pieces that are recognized as doing a mediocre job at best and then you meet that you will do poorly instead if you find good examples and then decide what you like about them and use those ideas to come up with something original for yourself you will have great work if it doesn't look great keep working with it remember this is what you want to do for a career don't sell yourself short if you try quitting early or taking a shortcut you're cutting yourself short you're ruining time that you could spend doing something that you love you don't want to find yourself exploring in the software that's a big mistake plan your design and then design based on that plan and you will find that you are coming up with some really great work and that's what i urge you to do um, no one builds a ship by cutting down a tree and just kind of feeling their way through the process they have a plan and then they follow the plan Hi, I want to welcome you to GRD 152. This is uh, computer design. Um, and I want to talk with you about a couple of three or four big things that are going to pop up during this semester. And I want to make sure that you have them on lockdown. OK, number one, most specifically, um, if you have a certification from high school, I want to tell you to watch out. Many students coming from high school have unrealistic expectations and they end up failing or dropping out of this class. Um, and I'm not saying it's you if you have a certification, but just hear me out on this. Uh, many times in high school or certification courses, 
um, students read and do the things that are required for the test, but then they never touch it again. And when they step into a class like this that asks them to do some of the basic steps, they leave it far behind and they don't remember what they're doing and they waited until the last minute and then they don't turn in projects and then they fail. Um, this class does have uh, some PowerPoint material in it, so if you have a previous certification in PowerPoint, but you don't remember how to use PowerPoint, please don't wait until the last minute. You will fail that project, and I don't want you that to happen. Um, second thing here is I want you to make sure to watch stroke. Many students uh, entering into the Adobe Illustrator software think that they're going to make all of their logos and their artwork based on stroke. That is a terrible idea. If you don't know why it's bad, please focus your classroom research on doing that. But you cannot make logos with stroke. It's a really bad idea. Stroke is the outside edge of a shape. Um, so if you're trying to paint with a paintbrush in Illustrator, it's not for that. If you're trying to draw things with stroke, it's as bad as using stroke in your typography class. You, you're just going to get laughed out of those interviews and you're never going to get a call back. Please focus on doing a great job. Uh, the last thing I want to go ahead and point out is that this class has a midterm practical where you have to put into practice your skills with Adobe Illustrator. If you have not done any work, if you've kind of done the minimum requirements to get by, you will probably fail the midterm. I don't want you to fail, so do your best. Please do your work ahead of time, and I know you can do it. Remember, if this is what you want to do as a career, this is a tool in your toolbox that you will use every single day. You might use Photoshop once a month. Maybe. Probably not. Uh, but you will use Adobe Illustrator all the time. The only thing you'll use more than that is uh, Adobe InDesign. But this is not an InDesign class. So looking forward to seeing your work. We got one other. I'm about to be hassled by a cat. Hold on a second here. Okay, very sorry about that. We had a cat related issue, but that is already over. Um, I do want to talk about an important thing that has popped up here, and that is the importance of the course entry quiz. Every single class has a course entry quiz, and you have three days to take it and pass. What constitutes a pass? One try. <laughs> um, so get in there and do your best. The uh, course entry quiz lets us know that you are interested in taking the class and that's it. So um, it's not a graded material. It doesn't count towards your score in this or any class, but it does let us know that you are a real person. So do take that. Once you take the course entry quiz, for you, the plagiarism agreement will pop up. That is a quiz. You have to get 100% or you will not be allowed into the class. And it's as simple as that. Um, so if you don't agree or you read it over and you're just not sure that this is right for you and maybe you want a career doing something else, um, this is a good time to get your money back because if you can't pass the plagiarism agreement, you'll get kicked out of the class and you have to pass the test. And I know you can do it. Um, the answers are right there in the um, in the material that you have to look over. Um, but I, I would like to uh, emphasize three things. Number one, there is some very clear information in there on AI related art. You should read it. Number two, there is some very clear information in there on what you need to do about your fonts. This will get you zeros and it will get you, as the plagiarism agreement says, directly reported uh, as an academic integrity violation if you choose to choose things that are not allowed to use or if you just bother not to check. That can really hurt you. 
this is a detail oriented and service oriented career, so make sure you're covering those. Um, and the third thing is that many students just agree to this plagiarism agreement. They don't read it. They don't look at it later. And the long story short about all of that is when they violate it, it's been three weeks since they've looked at it. And they don't even realize they've made mistakes, so. I heavily suggest you take it. I heavily suggest you read it. I heavily suggest if you have questions about it, contact me directly. You'll find my information in the faculty information tab. And I look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to seeing your work. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. If you want to talk with your fellow students, there is a student help board where you can get help from other students. But if you have questions about this class or your assignments, don't use that board. It's not for that. That is for only talking with other students. If you have questions about the assignments, please reach out to me directly. I look forward to seeing your work. Let's have a great semester.